Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Mr. 3D. Today, we are gonna check out why Cycles X is a game changer. Cycles is Blender's production capable path tracing render engine. It was first incorporated in Blender version 2.61 back in 2011. It's been exactly 10 years since it was announced. Now, Cycles is getting rebuilt with new advanced rendering algorithms. Blender Foundation named it Cycles X. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. So I will leave the link in the description below for you to check out. You can go and read a lot more about Cycles X. What they are bringing in Cycles X is improve the architecture for future development, improves usability of viewport and batch rendering, improve performance on modern CPUs and GPUs, introduce more advanced rendering algorithms. So this is Cycles X kernel graph. There's a lot of coding going inside in this graph. And as you can see, it's up to 2 to 250 times faster in some renders. As you can see, this is Redis Cycles X and the blue is Cycles Normal. So you can see what's the difference between them. And they have also some benchmarks on viewport performance. CPU viewport performance cycles X GPU CPU plus denoising and to download this you're gonna wanna go over to builder.blender.org download experimental and from here you just wanna check this cycles X experimental branch from blender 3 so it's right here you can just click on it and download this it's 200 megabytes all right it's Go ahead and download and play with it. It's very faster. I cannot imagine. You just have to try this out. I highly recommend this Cycles X. So I will leave the link in the description below for you to check out. Now let's jump into this tutorial. So let's see what this Cycles X can do. Alright guys. So this is Blender classroom file. So I'm just gonna check that it's a normal Blender 2.93 master and the other one is cycles x all right let's jump into it and then let's see how this can do so both of these settings are same you just have to make sure go into the edit preferences selected gpu capable gpu with this and with this as well as you can see i have both selected to same gpu cuda and then let's start viewport performance so go into the rendered mode into the normal version of cycles as you can see it's taking too much time and pixels are very big but in the other version let's go into the rendered mode it's more accurate smaller pixels and very faster So now let's try rendering th this out. So I'm gonna use denoising, render, open image denoise, alright that's fine. And for the other one, do the same, open image denoising, got it. Now let's render this out. It's normal cycles version, so let's try how long it takes to render one image. Alright. So normal cycles version rendered this out in 4 minutes 23 seconds. So now let's render this out using cycles X. So make sure let's confirm it's cycles X. Yes, it is cycles X. Now render render image. Let's see how fast it can render this image out. Cycles X seem to be two times faster than normal cycles. So I think from this point of view, it's a game changer. It really is a game changer. So let's try out a different scene. Let's open a new scene in Barcelona and also open this into another Cycles X version. 
let me figure out where it is right here all right now let's render this out in normal cycles version first all right as you can see it took seven minutes 52 seconds to render in normal cycles so this is a pavilion barcelona scene it looks beautiful now let's try out in cycles x so let's confirm out that it's cycles x yes it is click on render render image let's see how fast it can render this image as well as you can see it took five minutes two seconds to render this in cycles x this is a result of normal cycles and this is a cycles x all right now let's see another render open open new in cycles x as well all right make sure it's on gpu from here as well now let's render this out let's see how long it takes as you can see it's done in 54 seconds in normal cycles version now let's try in cycles x render image and let's see all right it's done in 20 seconds beautiful like so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below or you can join my discord server for any kind of help or something else you want i soon after reaching 100 members on discord i will create competitions so you can join in help this community grow up let more people find and if you like this video or you learn something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you won't miss the next video or the next update until then see you again with the next tutorial